of Talking Heads. To give, I have to give him credit for that. I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, he pulled really? that one out. How, di how deep wow. do you have to dig to yeah. find that? Yeah. But his Dooley, he can do it. He's a magic yeah. Dooley. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's right. There you go. Thank you, Julie. All right. Well, we're always so happy to welcome back to our home a Food Network star. She's a best-selling New York Times author and mother of four children. Her mm -hmm. latest cookbook is called Supermarket Healthy. Welcome back to our home, Melissa De Arabian. <gasps> Thanks for yes. having me. Yes. Back again. I'm so looking forward to this dish because if you can hear from the sound of my mm. voice, I'm still a little bit under the weather. So I had this last night for dinner to die, and I will share it with, uh, well, Melissa's going to share it with all of you and show you how this is made. What is pho? And is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, you know what? I, <laughs> is it yeah. pho? Is it pho? Pho is oh. a noodle soup. It's Vietnamese noodle soup. And the magic to pho is in a tasty, light broth. It's comfort food that's perfect for winter and for people who are feeling sick. Good. And yet it's light that's enough sweet. that you can eat it throughout the whole summer. What, Mark? Uh, did you have something? Yeah, I just want to point out, Elvis wanted to get the dessert oh, first, so he was oh. eating his cookies. <laughs> and I said, no, you got to come back in. Oh, yes. So you sit here. Come on in. You and have Mark, a seat come there. In I'm going to come in the kitchen. Come come in the kitchen. Got, you got, yeah, you can't start in. with the cookies. you got to use that yes. after. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a secret, Elvis. Yes. You can start with dessert. Oh. 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 Like my, a mother my meal, four. my rules. <laughs> Four kids, I'm <laughs> sure you passed that advice over Yeah, the kids are at home like, Mom, no, he needs protein first. Uh, <laughs> well, well, we're going to feed you some soup first, along with your cookies, so there awesome. we go. Yeah, so, Ooh, you know, listen, pho right. is all the rage, mm -hmm. um, and everybody's eating it, and the, the Is it question, yellow? Yeah. Uh, no, oh, well, not the nails. Oh, I said no. I was, no, I, I hope it's I not yellow. Was, yeah. <laughs> well, it was. That's. Oh, that's the trend. I guess this yeah. is the rage. This I'm is the rage. Oh, that was the trend. Keep up, Mark. Well, I'm not part of the millennials, oh, so I don't neither know. Am I. I know, falling out of favor here. I know. Ahead, so. I just missed it by this much. <laughs> but I know your kids love this. My kids love it. Please Let me start. tell you something. Yes. Oh, please go ahead. Yeah. Bon appetit. Yeah. You know, I have four little girls, and I think you learn a few best practices with four girls, and. Here's, here's the trick to getting your kids to expand their horizons um, in the kitchen, is I oh, latch on to oh. the noodles, which oh, remind my kids, oh, there they are, oh, yeah, remind my kids of spaghetti. Yeah. So then I can invite them into having a pho. So my whole family loves pho. They think it's so cool that they're eating like, Vietnamese food, oh, and it demystifies right. Vietnamese food I, for I, them. I have to just, we're back. did that picture, what are the, what's the age range? Uh, yeah, I know, it's close. I've got a fourth yeah. grader, a third grader, and two second graders. Okay. Um, and so at some point, did yeah. you go, are we going to try again and see if we get a boy, or are we just going to stop at oh, this I, point? I think we know we make girls. <laughs> okay. The factory is, is all female. Okay. And, and, and slash twins. Yes. So I think we're good. You're good. You're, okay. <laughs> I think we're like, good. So yeah, so should I show you how to make the We fun? would love for you because, to show us That's why you're here. Yeah, you know, that, not just to chat about my cute kids. Kid, yeah, no, no. I know. And to match Christina in her outfit. In our, I know. We're so and I kind of like, fit, I know. A little yeah, it's a little off. You know, kind of not, but we love you anyway. All right, so how do we make this you know, it's super easy. You want to make a broth, and then you're going to put in some meat and noodles to poach in it. It couldn't be easier. So the broth, I started off by browning some bones. Now, you can get them from the butcher. You can get them. They're really inexpensive. Are they beef bones? These are beef bones. bones. Pork bones? You know, you can use anything. I'll okay. tell you what. You can even use, like, a rotisserie chicken that you've oh, okay. eaten. The oh, really? Yeah. Oh, pff, yes. Yes. Chicken You'll fall. develop. It. Yeah, don't, don't get... Too okay. caught up and it's okay. pork pho, it has to okay. be pork. All right? Okay. So we uh, we brown up the bones, then we're gonna add in some garlic. Uh huh. And now we're just gonna build the flavors. Some um, ginger and some oh, carrots. You can definitely taste the ginger. Yeah, oh, oh good. Oh, good. Well, and you're gonna see it's all gonna be layered in the flavors, and then we're gonna strain this so you'll have a nice, clear, beautiful broth with lots of flavors celery, onions. And then this, one of my favorite tricks. Use the stems of cilantro. Did you hear that, guys? Yes. Use the stems, stems of cilantro. Of cilantro. Mm -hmm. A lot it's of people go to the This is where the flavor is, my friends. Mm -hmm. Put it on it. There we go. Right. Look at that. I got that. Great. Oh, you know what? I, I could use a team yeah. like you at I home. Know. We're just so. <laughs> I just I'm putting in a little bit of the pork tenderloin. All right. And then a bay leaf and star anise. Star anise. What is star anise? You, you know, tell it's going to have a slightly licorice flavor I to it. I love it. I, know. I put it in my tea. Well, look at yeah, it. Isn't it beautiful? Star anise. Yeah. How can it not be? Yeah, look at, can I show the you camera? Know, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, yeah. How can it, it not be tasty? Better, you make it like no. That. Yeah, it yeah like I that. made that. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> she made it. It took me hours. I found it on Pinterest. This is why they usually put me at the counter. 
and don't let me in the kitchen. But you know when I stew, when I make stew, when I make tea, do you do that when you're twice when you're um, make this? At you home? never, no, I've never put, put it, you put that in, in hot water. Tea, you yeah. put it in a spot of tea. Okay. Oh, you put it in actual tea, or you make a tea out of it. I'll, I'll take that back to England as you. Yes, I would love to give you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> but you know, it's this combination of flavors that are going to give it that, uh, you know, really that pho flavor. And then we just put in water. Uh, by the way, you have to say it like that. You can't use store bought canned stock because you're not going to get this complexity. You can't you know, start with can't. that. Can't. Can't is a strong word, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> you can do any, everything, you right? You can add the spices. I'm going into Absolutely. Go in, go in. It's you, really good. But you'd want to make, be careful about the sodium content if Got you're it, using right. a, a stock. You're going to let this simmer for about an hour. You know, you could even do this in the morning yeah, and then wow. put it in your slow cooker. Oh, oh, right. Uh. Just boil it down, and then we're going to strain it and make a clear broth. And then all you have to do is put in your noodles. I mean, literally, take your noodles. These are rice noodles. And they your, take like um, two seconds to cook, don't they, Melissa? This rice takes noodles. just minutes to cook. And your thinly sliced pork tenderloin, which, by the way, has less fat in it than, than a boneless, skinless chicken breast, so super healthy. Wow. Hence the book, Supermarket Healthy. Mm. And then here, when you're going to serve it, you want to serve the pho with all these goodies, the bean sprouts. Can I go ahead and garnish? Sure. Yeah, garnish, please. please. Little please. bean sprouts. I like a little Fresno chili. There you go, Mark. Oh. My kids don't because that's too spicy. A little bit of me, I? Cilantro? Yeah. Put, Are you of the cilantro? You know, I uh, will tell you, I was surprised the licorice. I was like, oh, licorice. Yeah. But it's actually no, really it nice. No, it gives it a nice flavor. It's subtle enough, but it, you can take it. Yeah. I will yeah. tell you, the one lime. thing I kind of feel like is not optional is the lime. Did you guys get lime? Yeah. 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 Okay. So there you go. All right. Now, there you go. Now, doesn't that make you feel like you're something it special? It looks so healthy. Healthy and so delicious it's and so, so good. It's so mm -hmm. good. Oh, and to finish off your meal, I have this little lemon coconut haystack cookie, which yeah. is a gluten free cookie I developed for my daughter. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's almond flour, it's coconut oil, there's no cooking involved, a little bit of unsweetened coconut, a little bit of vanilla. Really Perfect. easy. You can put it together. Wow. Did you try? Did you try your dessert? <laughs> I will. Did you try? Yeah. No, you, what, <laughs> After all that, you didn't get the I dessert? Will. Elvis, what's going on? Perfect. All right. Well, good. Your cookies, do you have them? I know you have to take off, right? Yes. You, okay. 